Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of April. So this is for April. It's been recording, it recorded in March, but it's for April, but you know the timing is fluid. So anyhow, what do we got for Gemini? Gemini for April. What do we have for Gemini? Mm. Ooh, Gemini, Ace of Pentacles, Reverse. Now this is financial loss. Okay, so you, some of you may be experiencing a financial loss or a missed opportunity or a lost opportunity. You didn't plan for this. Okay. This is an unplanned loss, okay? Um, you may have missed something as well. You may have missed a golden opportunity, or you may be um, letting something go, okay? It feels like I mean, you may be letting something go. Let's get some more cards. I could be saying, no, nah, I don't want this. So let's see. Ooh. Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords, Upright, New Idea. This is a new idea, a new, this is an epiphany. This is the Sword of Power, the Sword of Truth. So you're getting, it's something about the truth. You know the truth. You know the truth. This is clarity, receiving some sort of clarity. So you're receiving some sort of, sort of clarity, and this is something going away. So let's just get some more cards. But this is oh, the sort of truth. So something about the truth. Taking a new approach. Deciding to take a new approach. Hmm. So this is a rude awakening, and this is a wake-up call. So Gemini, you got some sort. Somebody's getting a rude awakening, and I don't know who it is. If it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, this is a big loss, a horrendous loss. Could be within your home, okay? Could also be within your body because this is a structure. So something. This is a new idea. Coming up with a new idea, seeing the truth. This is light being shed on a situation. So there's going to be a loss here. Uh, there is, okay? The tower is disruption. Disruption. It's a shock. So this is a shock. A, a shocking disruption or a shocking loss. So I don't know what the hell this is. I'm not trying to scare anybody. You know I'm very much a Gemini. My stellium is in Gemini. I have four planets in Gemini. And I was born on the cusp on the 20th of May. So I'm very much there. Anyhow, um, there could be an accident. I don't know. This is a big, huge loss. This allows you to start with a clean slate. Now, this could also be an internal disruption, like I said. Loss of money, loss of stability of something, losing something that, now obviously it's not permanent, it's not stable. There's something that is unstable here, okay, both unstable. Seeing that something is unstable, so there's some sort of level of instability. What is this tower? This is a shock. This is, uh, oh my God. That kind of thing. Oh my God. You're going to see clearly through. Now this could be a false foundation. Somebody could be being false and you decide to let them go. This is clarity. Interesting. Woo. Making a choice. You are going to make a choice. Now this is earthly powers. Seriously. Larger than yourself. And this is to the universe is causing a change. There's something you need to let go of. 
because you have something better. So there, this is what we got here. There's something false that you are going to be letting go of. Because you gotta let it go. You can't. You can't do both. You've been trying to hold on to it, but you can't. You gotta let it go. So there's a power higher, a universal power that is higher than yourself. You've been able to handle it up until now, but you're not gonna be able to deal with it for very much longer. You may flip. <laughs> you may flip. You may, you may flip it, you may flip. Something is going to happen. You may run into a roadblock. Now this tower is all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you have to make a change or things change or this is a choice. Uh, this could be a sudden loss, I'm sorry. And this could be a job or some, some sort of financial loss or something that you, something that you were holding on to because this is something you can hold on to. You can't hold on to it. It's leaving. But this is clarity, seeing the truth. And this is a rude awakening, and this is a wake-up call. So somebody's about to get a wake-up call. Now, this is also a life change, and this is a change. So life is about to change for you. That is the truth. Hierophant. Now you are dealing with somebody that is very controlling. Okay, this is this is a somebody that um, it's a father figure of some sort or somebody in authority. Okay, this is somebody that is having a hard time doing the right thing because of society, feeling disgraced, not very spiritual. This person is under a lot of social pressure. They are going against the, and not very spiritual, going against uh, the higher power, not going against, I was going to say God. This is poor counsel. Now this, that, there could be something to do with the government here. Okay, because these are both government cards. Something to do with the government. The government is, obviously, we know what's going on here. This is major disruption that is causing financial loss, right? It is causing a change. This, this disruption is going to change your life. This is a life change. The tower is a life change, okay? It's like you can't fight it either. You can't fight it, so I wouldn't if I was you. All right, just saying. Hierophant is is losing faith. You may be you may be losing faith. You may not. You may be in a state of disbelief. Okay. Um, what the heck is this? Somebody that isn't very spiritual. Breaking rules. Doing the opposite of what they say. Controlled by somebody in authority. You may be dealing with a father or a masculine or somebody, or I don't know who this is. It seems like a father, a father figure, or somebody who thinks that they're God, you know, is causing disruption in your life. It's almost like taking something away. Somebody is taking something away. What the hell is this? Saying goodbye, walking away. Oh my goodness, this is sad, okay? This is a, a split or a breakup or something. Or uh, sadness, extreme, okay? And this is sudden, a sudden departure. Oh, please, what is this? This is a very sudden situation, sudden change. You are going to experience a sudden change this month, and there could it could bring about some tears, Okay, could bring out, this is grieving, okay, there could be some grieving, um, saying goodbye to a disappointing situation, going into a time of reflection. Now, um, this could happen right around the full moon, the full moon in April, I don't know where that is, I don't have my calendar, when that is, I don't have my calendar turned over, but I feel as though you've been in a state of 
obviously despair anyway, or somebody has. This is a sudden, sudden, sudden movement. To put it that way, way where something happens all of a sudden. There's definitely a sudden arrival or a sudden exit. This could be somebody suddenly arriving as well. The Five of Cups reversed is could be somebody that left and they want to come back. A reunion. This person left and they want to come back and that happens all of a sudden. Now, I don't know who this person is. This is a major disruption to your life. This person may be under a lot of social pressure or they were. Maybe they are experiencing financial loss and they get some sort of rude awakening. I mean, there is a, definitely a rude awakening here. This is prolonged grief right here over a departure. So it feels like... Uh, Somebody may be feeling disgraced. They may want to, this is communication. You are going to be receiving communication from somebody who may have disgraced you, may have taken advantage of you, may have uh, thrown you away or something like that. I don't know what the, we're going to have to get some more cards. But this is somebody who decides to take action, uh, has no fear, fearless. And this is very sudden, just, just decides to take action. Very um, impulsive. So we have an impulsive energy here. Five of Cups reversed. Now there, somebody abandoned somebody. They left and they abandoned. They did. They abandoned somebody. And now it's like now they want to take action. They want to they want to move. They want to make a move. They may be coming with the truth. You notice where I put that. They may be wanting to to come with the truth to speak up. They got this new idea, right? They got this they want to take a new approach. They got this desire to come back. I don't know who the hell this is. Who is this person? Could be a father. Maybe if, if you have a uh, have had something or a man I think this is a masculine, um, that had a hard time doing the right thing. Now he may be facing some sort of disruption. He's bringing it to you. What the hell is this? Ace of Cups reversed. So, a lack of love, loss of love, loss of emotion, lack of emotion, feeling unloved. Very emotional time. Um, shutting down emotionally. Now, this could be, this is like somebody is shutting down emotionally. Ten of Swords. I don't know if there's a death. I mean, I don't know what there is. Somebody could be leaving suddenly. It, maybe it's a... I hate... I don't, I'm not trying to scare anybody. I don't want to scare anybody. But, I'm, I, you know... Um, the Ten of Swords can symbolize a death. The Ace of Swords... I mean, the Ace of Cups in reverse can be... I mean, or upright can symbolize, you know, heaven. Whatever. There is a major change that is coming and, you know, this is the end of, of something, okay? The Ten of Swords is the end. Life is about to change as you know it. There could be a death in the family and, I, and I'm, I'm sorry. I am very, very, very sorry, okay? Um, Ten of Swords, somebody may not survive with the Ten of Swords. Uh, they're giving up. They're giving up on something. Giving up on a on a connection because of mm, this person. The the hair font in reverse is somebody that is very controlling. This is somebody who is is very authoritative, and they demand they demand to be in control. So this is a this is a father type of figure, husband, a masculine that is very controlling, and this is giving up. Okay, this is giving up, or the death of a Ten of Swords is the death of a situation. You can look it up. It's over. Goodbye. And it's and you notice they're marrying each other, so it's goodbye. Somebody is saying goodbye. 
And this is a this is very sudden. It's very sudden. This is a relationship no longer on the same page. Okay? So it could be a husband, it could be a marriage, it's something you're in a commitment with or something like that. It's a false sense of security, it's a false foundation, there's a lack of love, there's a lack of emotional fulfillment. It's over. Choosing to let somebody go. Somebody is being let go, whether it's at a job or in a relationship. Somebody is definitely positively being let go. This is a, 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 somebody that is in an authoritative position that um, probably has abused their power because this is the sort of power and this guy is, I think there's an abuse of power. Okay, this person who has abused their power is about to go down. Okay, this person is about to go down. Now, this is somebody that is in high authority. Think about who you know that is in high, uh, is in a very high position that is a Gemini. Just think about that for a second. So this is government and this is government too. So somebody is about to go down. Somebody is about to go down. There's about to be a massive change. And it happens all of a sudden. You don't even see it coming. They never saw it coming. This guy uh, may have not planned. He didn't plan for something to happen. He didn't pay, pay, plan for this disruption. Uh... Now there's about to be, an, uh, somebody is about to take a new approach. Now this could be, <laughs> I mean, that's a weapon, right? Um, is this somebody comes charging in? Mm. Five of pentacles reversed. Now that is uh, disgraced. There's a major loss here. There's, there's a major loss. We have a, definitely have an unhealthy relationship, an unhealthy situation where uh, things are about to crash. Something is about somebody or something is about to crash. There's a there's a the, expect the unexpected. Put it that way. Five five five. Major life changes. Major life choices. Life is about to change. In a very big way. And somehow you are going to be involved. This is going to help you to let go of the old and bring in the new. So you, somebody is going to lose something of significance. That, 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 um, uh, something about social pressure. Okay. A socially, you know, made them look good. Okay. It made them look good. It's not about the looks. Okay, that's not very spiritual, not very spiritual, you know, so we have somebody here that is under a lot of social pressure to uh, portray themselves to be false, to, pray, to portray themselves to be somebody that they are not. Whatever this false thing is, because this is something that is uh, tangible, whatever this false thing is that doesn't serve your highest purpose is going to be removed. Okay, it's going to be removed. Courtesy of the universe. Okay, it's going to end abruptly. And there's probably going to be some tears. Okay, because the Ace of Cups is tears and sadness. We have sadness over here, so there's sadness. Um, life is about to change. You can't have something is leaving. You notice now one of these coins is, is covered up. It's going away. It's ending. So something that you have been juggling, been holding on to that really doesn't serve you is leaving. It's leaving. And I think it's going to be very emotional as it uh, departs, put it that way. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be quite a shock. There's going to be a shocking change that is very emotional and probably... Uh, knocks you down or something like that brings you to your knees it may bring you to your knees with this ten of swords um it may have to do with a relationship you know or a commitment that you were something you were committed to where this party is over the honeymoon is over now it's time to clean up this mess it was fun while it lasted but now it's over 
So, um, Gemini. Oh my God. Seven of Cups. Now, Seven of Cups is a card of choices. You are going to be presented with a few options after this upheaval. Okay, this upheaval, this chaos, this uh, disruption is, is happening, right? It happens. It happens. And it's emotional. After you, uh, you know, you're going to survive from it because this is survive. You're going to, yes, it's going to hurt, but you're going to survive. You're going to survive. Then you're going to be presented with multiple options. And I think your faith is going to be tested. I think you're, you're going to need to be careful of false beginnings and choose a little bit better next time. Choose a better option. Choose more wisely. You're going to be presented with some, some options in which you're pro one of these options is probably going to be very exciting. Okay, it looks really good. It looks really good, but it will bring you a lot of sadness. It will bring you a lot of financial burdens. So be careful with your choices. You're going to be presented with multiple options when once this upheaval uh, evens out. You know what I mean? Once it evens out. Once it uh, once 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 this thing hits the ground. Once once. Once this, yeah, once it hits the ground and you've experienced this heartache, because the Ace of Cups reversed is sadness and, and, and heartache, and, and, and the Ten of Swords is some kind of suffering, okay? This ending, okay? Something is going to happen. I'm, I'm not, I can't pretty it up. Okay, once this is over, okay, once this chaos, whatever crap all of this is, is over, you are going to be presented with some options, okay? And you are going to really need to think about this. You're going to need to think long and hard as to what is the best option for you. You may have a Aries Leo Sagittarius that is coming in to save the day. This person may, you know... Um, be wanting you to give them a chance. I think you know who this person is. I think you know who this person is. This person uh, may be the reason. This person may be the reason why this false foundation collapses. Everything happens for a reason. So there is a new partnership that is coming into play after you make it the or after this chaos ensues you will be letting go of something that isn't solid and stable but this brings you towards a new partnership that is very compatible 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 and uh it's like, if you know, it's like, it's, it's beautiful, okay? This is a very compatible partnership where uh, there's two people that are very, very much alike. They complement each other very well. So I do believe that you are going to have something that uh, leaves your life, but this... Departure gives you a new opportunity that you didn't see coming. And this is probably the reason why this whole catastrophe happened. This is an arrival. Somebody is arriving into your life. This is an arrival that you did not see coming. But it is after 
this I see it is this one was out way before this happened so this is this is going to happen first you're you're going to be e experiencing a shocking disruption in your life that probably brings you to your knees and it's like this person uh it just shows up and I feel like you are going to see this person as the best option. But we do have a relationship that is not on the same page. And I feel like that relationship that is false is going bye-bye. Good luck.